So when I've always pictured salt and sea, I thought of it like this like abandoned, dry, smelly thing with dead fish everywhere, but it doesn't look that bad at all. It kind of smells rank actually. I dare you to dab your finger in the water and take a, a, a Take a sick. lick? Yeah. I dare you. Will I die? I don't think so. People bathe in it. It's like heck? rock. It's all little tiny seashells. Oh, that is bizarre. It is, that right? Is bizarre. The entire beach is made of seashells. You and probably bones from fish. I swear, Alyssa, do you think these are all bones? Or do you think they're like sticks? That's totally a bone. These are, yeah. That's all a bone bones. right here. This oh is a bone. Oh my gosh. Oh my okay, this is kind of weird. Yeah, I really think the entire beach is made of like crushed bones and seashells. Oh my gosh, it reeks. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's like dead fish everywhere. Definitely a dead fish. And there's another one right here. Oh my gosh, they're like everywhere. Oh my gosh, they're literally everywhere. This is all dead fish. Oh my gosh, there's one like right here too. Yeah, Oh my gosh. Oh wait, no, that's a log. Hold on, let me go down further. That, oh that is a dead fish with this missing eyeball. Oh, oh my so gosh, this is so here. disgusting. The, the entire the beach oh, is covered. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. On my feet. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're literally walking in dead fish right now. And it smells like salt and dead rotting flesh and poop and other dirty things. Okay, so we are in Nyland right now. And this is like their little town community. And the whole thing is boarded up as Hi, sweetie. No, he has a collar on. Hi, Shotzi. Hi, sweetie. Can you get out? Where's your yeah. Where's your honey? So anyways, this was the Nylon Club Cafe and it's oh, all so boarded cool. up. No, listen, the club cafe is right there. Hi, sweetie. Alyssa, the club cafe. Okay, Alyssa just wrong. kidding. There's the, the Nylon Club Cafe. Beer to go. We should go anyways, it looks kind of scary, but oh, you could do wild looks wild like an adventure. Hi, yeah, we just passed the Nylon is a complete ghost town. Every single store there is boarded up. Every single store it is boarded like up. It looks like probably at one time it was pretty happening. There was like a golf and stuff type place with like a castle and that's empty. There's tons of RV parks that are completely abandoned. Ooh, state prison. Ooh, and Alyssa and I are very excited because there's tons of abandoned buildings for us to explore. We are standing in front of this... <clears throat> Building, this abandoned building. There's a weird little shack. Nah, go get the knife. It's in my purse. Oh wow! Like you know what to do with that. Go. I don't think a boogeyman's gonna pop out of the corner. Oh, looks like a bunch of rubbish. So I think this is probably some kind of unloading zone where trucks like unloaded yeah. crap. <clears throat> There's all the rubbish inside. Kind of boring. Yeah, not much to see. Just a lot of pigeons. I'm gonna hit up the ski in at, like early in the morning, probably like 10. Get some drinks. And then um, we're gonna walk around the Salton Sea, specifically Bombay Beach. We're at the scan. I don't even think you can see it. And what do we see here? A golf cart. Because everybody drives golf carts here. So here we go. So we're at the ski inn and we just ordered some beers and it's 9.30 in the morning. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. 
Yeah, you're not bad. Got the hose in with this, and I'm behind him. Oh, cheers. Right. 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 What? Ring your shoe by. Make sure you ring you by a room. We're trying to document our trip right now. Our road trip, so. You buy. You can't see it around you, but. I love Kenny Loggins. Are you guys from here originally? Where are you from? Nobody's from here. Nobody's from here. I've been coming here since 59. I've wow. been coming there since 65, something well, like that. Yeah. Most of the old tires have died off. Yeah. <laughs> well, it really it started out as like a weekend place, like a party town. There yeah. were five bars and they were packed every night. Really? In this little tiny yeah. place here. And uh, it was like a, just a big weekend party place. Fishing and water skiing and stuff. Yeah. And then a bunch of those people, my grandparents, retired down here. So we are leaving the Creekside Inn right now. Wow, Four it's beers. called ski inn. <laughs> so we are leaving the ski inn right now, not the Creekside Inn. And um, the people <clears> there Hold on, first of all, we got four fantastic. beers for $8. Amazing. No, it was five, actually. We got five? Five beers for $8. Wow, that is insane. Anyways, so the grumpy lady is sitting next to me. Once she left, everybody started, started talking, talking about her. And they really? said, the older guy said that she's the biggest bitch in the area, so. And they apparently said. she used to work at Ski Inn and she used to make food and they said, and he when said, she ate hamburger, or he when said she, when she cooked hamburger, she did this and he grabbed a coaster and rubbed it under his arm like this. And they said, basically, if she was working there, you don't want to eat the food, and wow, she's really things. controlling, and she has her boyfriend on a leash, blah, blah, yeah. blah, so. Anyways, that and was then, a great time, and, and then it's there only was 11 o'clock. And then there was one guy in there, and they said, um, well, I like that donkey. There was one guy in there, and he said that um, he was Hold drinking on. a Bud, he took his Bud Light. Oh, there's a car behind me. He took his, he said, hey, you guys are drinking all my Bud Light. And then um, the guy, the older guy sitting next to us said, oh, well, you don't want to lose your glasses again. And he's like, no, that was the tequila that made me do it. And then they're, <laughs> apparently, hey, look, there's a motel here. We could have stayed here. Oh, wow. Not no, that I would have wanted to. Oh, this is the community center right here. This is so golf great. Golf cart, another golf cart. Yeah, everyone drives golf carts around here because it's a half a mile to a half a mile. It's like, and then, and then the bartender said, "So why did he microwave his cell phone in the? Why did he microwave his cell phone when it got wet?" And the other guy said, "No, that was wacky weed." And the bartender was like, "Oh, he was smoking that day." Yeah, apparently so he apparently microwaved these his old cell phone. People, like smoke weed and. His cell phone got wet, so he microwaved it. They were all really nice, though, and they kind of gave oh, us okay. the... I don't want to run over that little white dog! I didn't run over him. Okay, he's next to my car. Little pig, where? Okay, he's literally barking at my doorstep. Okay, anyway, so... so yeah, we're going to go fi try and find the Bombay Resort. So we just got to Bombay Beach. This is where the old docks and everything were from the boats. There's absolutely nothing out here anymore. Alyssa, this beach looks way cleaner than the one we were at yesterday. There's no dead fish. Oh, yeah. I was hoping you'd be yeah, I know. This is like really clean. Oh the water's literally like putrid brown red. The water's brown. literally filthy. It's probably full of like dead fish guts. I've never seen water this brown in my life. It's foul. There's other people like I think fishing over here or something. Filming, Brittany. Huh? Or filming. Uh, it's just <laughs> weird. It's so quiet out here and abandoned. There's literally nothing out here except for birds.
Hmm. Words of wisdom from Steve the bartender. He said, work to live, don't live to work. And he said, make sure you experience life. You have to have a great balance because we told him how much we want to travel and explore. And then his parting words, then his when, parting we words when we left the bar, he said, keep on exploring, just keep exploring.